I'm late. I am late to get to dinner. It's about 8.30 Sunday night. This video will be out at 8 a.m. on YouTube. I never miss. I've never missed a video because I don't give a fuck. That's the answer. My whole business was started because I needed to outwardly to the world be a man that I needed in my life. A man that I needed in my life would not break his word for shit. And since I've been on social media, since I've been on YouTube, I have not missed or broken my word on any of the daily habits and disciplines that I teach you guys will change your life. So you got to see a motherfucker get out of prison with just a certain set of habits, a certain set of daily disciplines, and a certain mindset that made him successful. The thing is, I didn't care about the success. I cared about the disciplines. I cared about the daily habits, and I cared about upholding this mindset and this character. Do you guys get that everything in life is an eye for an eye, exactly what you are? Motherfuckers think they could take away from me what I've done? You could never. When I walk in a room, you know that guy's different because I've lived different, because I carry myself different. It's not a walk. It's nothing you buy. It's that I really did 10 years. So I seem like someone who did 10 years in prison. And not that I just did 10 years, because I know people who did 10 years. And they did it with poor self-talk. They did it with shitty habits. They did it with no daily disciplines. So their 10 years fucking did them. When we both walk in the room, you see a man who did his 10 years. And you see a man who got done dirty by his 10 years got bent the fuck over by his fucking 10 years. So he's broken and I'm built. That's life. Your life is doing you like that. How have you lived the last 10 years? How was your self-talk during that breakup? What were your daily habits like? Your disciplines, your character during that breakup, that adversity, that job loss, that time in your life where you really had to face something that could have taken you out. That's the difference. That's the deciding factor. I'm the culmination of a motherfucker who lived a certain way for an extended period of time. You'll never be able to take that from me. That's why when I walk in a room, I have a different aura, a different clout, a different energy, a different feeling about me. I'm operating at a different vibration. Then when I turn that intention into, no, I'm creating me to help others. So I'm creating this man to help other people now. That's what I'm doing now. Now everything changed. Because that man who walks in and just says, here I am, which I tell you guys all the time. There's two types of people that walk in a room. There's a the type of person who walks in the room and says, there you are. And there's a the type of person who walks in the room that says, here I am, motherfucker. I'm the type of person who walks in the room and says, here I am. But I turn my intention to here I am, I'm here to serve you. I'm here to help you. I've made it my daily duty, my obligation to serve the world in this manner, to be the man that I always needed my whole fucking life. So I've taken that position of the teacher. I've transcended self. And this has given me unlimited purpose throughout all my days. Every day I wake up, I have no shortage of purposeful acts that have to go on because there's no shortage of people. Imagine if you thought that way. Hey, I have the answer. Hey, there's a person who needs the answer. Think about your life that way. Think about problems and solutions that way. How the fuck could you not be successful if you were you were one big problem that you solved and everybody else needed that same problem solved? Financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, I've done it all. I've done it the fuck all. And I continue to elevate and grow. You've never, you're never fully done. I'm never fully done. I'm never going to fully be it. I'm just going to fully give myself to the people and live it, become it more and more. As the years pass, an eye for an eye, the exchange you feel as I walk in a room becomes greater. There's a reason if Grant Cardone messages you and Grant Carlson down the street messages you, there's a big difference in feeling. Grant Cardone has done all this shit 
that you know about. So he's elevated his stature, elevated his status. You will feel different from a message from this man. There's no way around it. You'll have to feel the culmination of his life's work that he is, that he's become in his message. Grant Carlson down the street who ain't done shit. You don't feel shit from Grant Carlson. Grant Carlson ain't shit. You get me? Do you guys get it yet? You, you're the deciding factor. Nobody can take your energy from you. When I first read The Initiation by Rudolf Steiner, every word gave me the chills. I was trying to understand why every single word this man put on paper could just make my, the hairs on my arm and neck stand on end. And it was because the amount of energy he lived with. He was a, a cultist and he lived between the two planes. He lived between the sensory world and this other plane of existence where we all are connected in this collective consciousness. He lived between these two spaces for most of his life and he studied that space. So the point was, is you felt him at a different degree. You guys, there's different types of people on this planet. You get to choose who you are. The funny thing is, a lot of you fucking stupid fucks want to be a jokester. And that's all you're seen as. Just a fucking walking joke. A clown. Yeah. We need to laugh. We need all that. But don't be a fucking clown your whole life. You have to take shit seriously. It's so funny how a lot of times people are in my DM and they're like, why are you yelling? Why are you so serious? And then I look at their life. I'm like, maybe you should be more serious. Maybe you should yell. A lot of you guys should be a lot more pissed off about your fucking position in this planet. You suck. You're not doing shit. You should be a lot more worried about what you're leaving the world. Because I'm going to leave a fucking legacy. Let's go!